He's a great father. He loves his boys. Yeah, I think he's just, he's a great dad. He's a homebody. He likes to be home. He formed his whole camp basically like around his house. The, the furthest place he goes is an hour to an hour and a half. He tries to make as many things local as he can. You know, the benefits of being home, uh, you know, during my, for my camps and everything is that I get to, you know, I get to go home and, and see my kids every night, you know. Uh, I wake up with them in the morning and I, and I get to put them to bed. So, uh, you know, it's important to me. Um, I, I don't want to miss any part of their lives, you know. Uh, uh, I'm definitely a family guy, and uh, that, that means a lot to me to be able to be there for him, you know, every step of the way. Frank is great with the kids. I mean, he's definitely trying to toughen them up. He's got them doing arm bars. He's got them, he's got them doing wrestling takedowns, which is really cute because they just run into his legs and knock them over. When we're home and when we're playing with them, we try to go outside if it's nice out. Like, kick a soccer ball around, go on the swing set, take them to the park, take them to the boardwalk. They love the boardwalk. Frankie's so much more than fighting to us. You know, like, he's my son, and fighting is what he does, it's not who he is. And I think that's why he is so humble, because none of us really play into that, and he doesn't play into it. And matter of fact, we really don't talk about fighting with him, because I, you know, because that's what anybody ever wants to talk about. So when he comes to our house or we go to there, we talk about everything but fighting. Because we want him to know that he's our son first. You know, and fighting is, like I said, it's what he does. Frankie's one of those dudes, you know? He's a real true guy, realness, you know? And I feel, I feel a lot of it is, it's not necessarily, I mean, it's definitely his family. That, I mean, you met his family, they don't get any realer than that. I was always competitive, competitive in school, at work especially, and I think he always uh, seen how I worked every day and uh, how I always gave 100% everything I did and rubbed off on him. Yeah, for sure, my father's work ethic has, you know, uh, rubbed off on me. You know, uh, ever since I was a little kid, he'd be getting up four in the morning, going to work, you know, working all day, then come home, eat dinner, and then go back and, and you know, bid jobs and stuff. And uh, you know, on the weekends he's outside working on the house, and he's got a bum knee, he's still doing that. You know, so uh, you can definitely get influenced by people around you, and uh, he definitely influenced me, influenced me a lot. He is really, truly a good person. He's got a great heart. He never wants to hurt anybody, and he would do anything for for anybody. You know, he's that type of kid that if somebody was stuck on the side of the road, he'd definitely be pulling over, helping them. Really, fam, you know, a family oriented, a godly, humble man, and and you know he walks the walk. You won't see him talk, you know, quite about anybody. He's had a million instances. Like I've said, there's been a lot of guys that have talked smack about him, and he just won't. He won't bend. His main concern is being, you know, a good husband, a good a good father, and a good, you know, a good son and a good friend. And that's always, you know, it's what he's always been. He'll do anything for anybody, any second, and any time. My whole setup, you know, uh, with the people I hang out with as far as friends, the, my, my family, my coaches, is, we're all kind of like a, a, a close-knit family, you know. I have the same friends I had since high school, you know. And uh, it's kind of cool, even my family is really close with all my coaches too, you know. Most of the MMA people that you do meet in this UFC fighting, a lot of good people. They're, they're, all, they're all great. Yeah, we, we met some wonderful, we made some good friends with a lot of people through this connection. But as for Henzo, Ricardo, um, Phil Norris, all those guys that Frankie has around him, he has a good pack of people around him, and they're, they're unbelievable. And I'm glad that Frankie, you know, sees, you know, he hangs out with people that are good role models, because that's who you become with. Whoever you hang out with, that's who you become. Uh, you know, five to 10 years, I'd love to still be fighting, um, you know? Yeah, something I, I definitely want to do is open my own, own academy one day and uh, training center. And, you know, teach kids, teach adults, teach everybody, because that's something that, uh, you know, I've, I've been fortunate enough to, have, I've been fortunate to have great coaches my whole life, you know, from, from a young age to, to, you know, present day, and, uh, you know, I'd like to just pretty much convey what they, they taught me to, to, to young kids, too. Why do you want that belt back so bad? I used to wrestle in high school, and I got into wrestling. 
was Frankie no. He has that ability to break his opponent. It's his will that he imposes on his opponent as he's training. He's fighting two-way classes ahead. Wrestling Jiu-Jitsu, much different, but very similar. Gaspari Nutrition is a something that, you know, that we need, and it excites us as coaches. And I would love to see Frankie fight at the Garden. Uh, I'm definitely a family guy, and uh, that, that means a lot to me. I still don't feel personally that Frankie did lose a fight. This rematch with Ben Henderson. You're gonna knock him out? I mean, I would love to, you know? Again, I'm not big on, on predictions, but uh, I'm gonna be prepared to, to do it if I have to.